My name is Elder Lambert. I am in Cambodia. I've been here for a year and a half. I want to share with you just for a couple of minutes why I, I have loved my mission, why I think it's one of probably the best choice I've made. One of the, at least the best choice I've made recently to, in my life is to go on a mission. <clears throat> and I'll share a couple of experiences and hopefully highlight a few reasons why it has meant so much to me. That's Kamai. <coughs> That's how you want to hear it. So, um, <coughs> maybe I'll just relate two experiences to you that I've had on my mission recently that uh, hopefully relay the points uh, that have been most meaningful to me. Uh, specifically, <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, Elder Heaton and I were, were proselyting. We were, we were teaching in the morning and our plans, our lessons fell through and our backup plans fell through. And so we, we were kind of sitting there wondering what should we do. And I had a feeling that I should go visit a less active member that was nearby. And I'd never met her before, but we went. <coughs> her name is Ming Ya. We went and to visit her, and, and the sister missionaries were already there talking to her. So we went up to her, and <coughs> she expressed her strong feelings of how she doesn't want to go back to church because she feels like she's she has sin, she doesn't, she doesn't want to, she, wasn't, she doesn't want to go back. <clears throat> and she was surprised to see both of us come, both of the pairs of missionaries. And I was able to tell her <clears throat> that God had sent us to come. God had sent us to, to meet with her and to tell her that he wants her to follow his commandments so that he can give her blessings because he loves her. <clears throat> okay, one more experience is when I was serving as an office elder <clears throat> in the international branch, speaking English. We had a Korean investigator and she um, she she had a lot of reserves, a lot of reserves uh, about about some some gospel doctrine. But she uh, <clears throat> she met with us one day, and and we were teaching her with a with a member, and she she was very quiet that lesson. And we were teaching her about the atonement. We testified about the atonement and how it can heal people. It can give strength to us. <clears throat> and how we can receive peace through the atonement. And she, at that point, started crying and left the room. My companion and I were, were a little surprised. <clears throat> but she, she came back and she told us the story of how the past weeks she had felt suicidal. She had felt so stressed from, from the things that were going on in her life, the worries that she had. We were able to help her through, through teaching her about, about Christ's atonement, about the, the peace that it, can, that it can bring to someone who, who is in need of, of, of peace, someone that, who, <clears throat> who has sorrow, has concerns. And we promised her that she can receive those blessings by following Jesus Christ, by repentance and faith on Him. <clears throat> so 
so these are, these are, those are two experiences that I've had recently. <clears throat> um, I, hope it, I hope it highlights to you the, the, main, the main theme of, of why I feel my mission is important. <clears throat> and to me, it, it's, a, it's about love. It's about love for God and love for other people. And the love that God has for all of us, <clears throat> and so I've I've learned a lot about about that love, and I I want to say I'm 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 grateful for the the covenants I've been able to make to come closer to God, and especially for this for this work that I've been able to engage in to to really personalize myself with God's love for other people and try to be a tool in His hands to share that love. And, and I've seen His hand at work many times every day. <clears throat> and so, so that's, that's, that's what it means for me. And it's, it's really made my my whole life more meaningful. Every experience that I've had, the closer I've I've been able to come to them, the more love I've been able to have for them. Be, the more I've been able to receive of that love that God has for for all of us. <clears throat> the more personal the gospel has become for me, and I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. It really has changed my entire life. It will shape all of my decisions in the future. <clears throat> um, and and I, I know that, that God answers all of our prayers. <clears throat> if you... I mean, answers all... All of our, all of us people, He answers our prayers, and if we pray, if we pray sincerely, then we can not only receive, but we'll we'll notice the answers He's given us. And <clears throat> and His His goal is to is to bring us back to Him. So I'm I'm so grateful for missionary work that gives me. The opportunity to, to be engaged in his work and to give of myself a little bit <clears throat> try to give more than more than I'm comfortable with uh, so that I can I can receive more of his love <clears throat>